This is not financial advice, it's not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff. So you get a video, I put them out, see them things, see me analyze that data. Listen, they they put a flood of article out where they were saying that retail investors buying MEM stocks are going to crash the market. Some of you guys might have seen it. But when, when I when I saw that headline, you know what I said to myself? I said these guys are snitching on themselves. They are admitting that, that, that they have billions of counterfeit shares. How could retail investors buying stock in any company crash the entire market? How could that happen? Unless the companies the retail investors were investing in had billions of counterfeit shares. Because if we invest in any company, worst case scenario should be the company goes down and we lose our money. The company goes down and we lose our money. But somehow, the fact that we're invested in AMC and GME puts the entire market at risk. I mean, these guys are absolutely outrageous. They, they, they tell on themselves, not even realizing that they're telling on themselves. Okay? And when I read that article, it, 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 it confirmed my commitment to the DD that I've done. The DD they say we don't do. AMC is going to squeeze. Okay? I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell. I'm telling you, that's what the DD tells me. That's what these FUD articles they put out tell me. And here's the thing. We're like 15 days. 15 days on the threshold list. And what is the SEC doing? Absolutely nothing. The rules say... After 13 days, you have to go into the open market and start buying back those shares to close out those FTDs. But is the, F, is the SEC enforcing those rules? No, no, the SEC is not enforcing those rules. So here we have these flood articles. We have the threshold list. We have so many different things going on in the market when it comes to AMC. And I don't give dates. I don't like to give dates. But based on everything I'm seeing, <laughs> before March 14, before that March 14 reverse split vote, I see some major, major changes happening with AMC. Okay? That's just my opinion. I'm going to tell you to buy, hold, or sell. But... These guys are telling on themselves in their articles. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that the bad actors were telling on themselves when they said us buying shares can crash the entire market? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.